Hello everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some really fun techniques using um, heat resistant acetate and a Concord 9th stamp. So we're going to go in the Hello Lovely stamp set and using the floral bouquet. And this acetate is really cool. Um, it's heat resistant so you can heat emboss on it and it doesn't wrinkle, it doesn't warp, it doesn't get cloudy, it stays nice and clear. Which I think is really fun, really unique. Um, it's a really cool product to the market and not something I've seen before. So um, we're going to use some Versamark and a powder tool. Now the powder tool is important because um, if you mess with acetate before you know it's really staticky, really clingy and the powder tool will help eliminate that as much as possible. Um, so you want to cover it with your powder tool and then stamp it with your Versamark which you can see the pattern showed up um, and then we're going to cover it using Turkish Nights Embossing Glitter by WOW. And this is a purple and gold and copper kind of mix. And you want to use the powder tool so that it doesn't stick where you don't want it and kind of ruin your image. The other thing about this is that it heats up and melts a lot faster than traditional cardstock. So you don't really need to heat your gun up like you do with cardstock. Um, so that's kind of a bonus. You can see it melt there. And we're going to make a shaker card out of this. And I thought that it was really pretty to have the embossed image on the acetate versus around the shaker window. So I've got my frame here. This is um, gold foil cardstock from Die Cuts with a View. And then I lined it with um, score tape. And I made this frame using two stitch rectangle dies. Mine are from Lawn Fawn, but a lot of companies have them. I do know that the Lawn Fawn specifically cut a true four and a quarter by five and a half in the largest die and so I've got the the largest and then the third largest to make a half inch wide frame that um, finish size measures four and a quarter by five and a half so it is an entire card front so I've laid down some score tape to attach those and then next we're going to build our shaker window so I'm using 3M foam tape I buy the giant rolls from Amazon and they're like 40 bucks, um, but they last forever. So I do two long strips and fold it over so it's on top of itself, so it's double thick, and then cut it up the middle. And doing it that way lasts a really long time. And whenever you're doing shaker cards, you want to make sure you butt up your edges so that there's nothing, no openings, no gaps that your shaker bits can escape. And that's not so problematic if you have larger pieces like sequins, but if you use glitter or tiny seed beads, that becomes more of an issue. So just to play it safe, I make sure all of my edges are touching and there's no gaps. And then I also take my powder tool and run it around the edges of the foam tape so that that leads to less sticking. Um, you want your, your shaker bits to move around and um, the powder tool lasts for less sticking. So the shaker bits I'm using today are from Little Things by Lucy's Cards and they're gold dust and pretty pansy. Um, I'll link to the website because she changes the mixes a lot so I'm not guaranteeing these two specific mixes are still available but I know she has gold and I know she has purple. She has so much pretty stuff on that website. Um, but anyway, I've got some lavender cardstock as a base and then um, I'll attach this to a top folding card base. So to do the sentiment, I've got some stick it and I've put that on both sides of some black cardstock. And you can see I've got several dies for sentiments here. Um, obviously we're going to use one. So I'm using the smile for this card. And um, I, I choose the stick it because of how thin it is and how easily and nicely it die cuts. I've used other sheet adhesives that are thicker and I've run into problems with them um, getting it to die cut all the way. So that's why I might go to and my recommendation is stick it. So what I'm using here is some Elizabeth Crafts Silk Microfine Glitter. And this is a super finely milled glitter, tiny, tiny particles. Um, so it sticks really easily and really well to the adhesive that you won't have glitter flaking off of this stuff. And that's due to the size, but it's also due to the stick it. So you can use this with bigger glitters and chunkier glitters, um, but I can't guarantee the results as well as using the microfine. So 
So on the back, my um, backing paper did end up coming off, so I have to add a little bit of glue. Not a big deal. So I'm using um, Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And um, if you use this wet, it's permanent. If you let it dry on your surface, it becomes a removable adhesive. So that's nice for making your own masks or um, if you want to do some ink blending, you can create a mask, stick it down, and then peel it back up when you're done. So it's a pretty handy all around glue. So as you can see, when I put my acrylic black on top of my sentiment, it did squeeze out a little bit of the excess glue. Now with this one, and this is part of the reason I use it, is I can scrape that back off and you won't see it. Even after it dries, it dries matte and it dries clear. Um, so you won't see it. And you'll see that in the final pictures, both at the end of this video and on my blog. So I did use the, the tip of my um, tweezers to kind of remove the most of that as best I could. And I left the footage in to show you that um, you can make it work. It, it's not a game ender. So there's the final card. And um, I think it's really pretty. It's a really cool product and a really fun project. So let me know how you like it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.